Thrombocytopenia is a medical condition that occurs when a patient has a low platelet count, resulting in a high risk of bleeding and bruising. Platelets are crucial components of the blood that play a vital role in blood clotting, and a low platelet count can lead to severe health complications. For many years, doctors have struggled to find an effective treatment for thrombocytopenia, but recent advancements in medicine have led to the development of a new drug called Promacta. Promacta has been a game-changer in the treatment of thrombocytopenia, and in this video, we will explore its benefits and how it is transforming the way we treat this debilitating condition. Understanding Thrombocytopenia Before we dive into the details of Promacta, it's essential to understand thrombocytopenia and its causes. Thrombocytopenia is a condition characterized by a low platelet count, which can be caused by various factors, including infections, medications, autoimmune disorders, and cancer. Symptoms of thrombocytopenia include excessive bleeding, easy bruising, petechia, and prolonged bleeding from wounds. Thrombocytopenia can be diagnosed through a blood test that measures platelet counts. The treatment of thrombocytopenia depends on the underlying cause of the condition. In some cases, patients may not require treatment, while in severe cases, patients may need a blood transfusion or other interventions. Unfortunately, many thrombocytopenia treatments have limitations, and there is a need for more effective therapies. What is Promacta? Promacta, also known as l is a drug used to treat thrombocytopenia in adults and children. The drug works by stimulating the production of platelets in the bone marrow, which helps to increase platelet counts in the blood. Promacta is available in tablet form and is taken orally once a day. Promacta was first approved by the FDA in 2008 and has since been used to treat thrombocytopenia in patients with chronic liver disease, immune thrombocytopenia, ITP, and severe aplastic anemia. The drug has been effective in increasing platelet counts and reducing the risk of bleeding in these patients. How does Promacta work to increase platelet counts? Promacta works by binding to the thrombopoietin receptor, which is a protein responsible for regulating platelet production in the bone marrow. By binding to this receptor, Promacta stimulates the production of platelets, which helps to increase platelet counts in the blood. Promacta is a unique drug in that it targets the underlying cause of thrombocytopenia, which is a low platelet count. Unlike other treatments that focus on preventing bleeding or replacing platelets, Promacta works to increase platelet production in the bone marrow, addressing the root cause of the condition. Benefits of Promacta in Treating Thrombocytopenia Promacta has been a game-changer in the treatment of thrombocytopenia, offering several benefits over other treatments. One of the primary benefits of Promacta is that it helps to increase platelet counts in patients with chronic liver disease, immune thrombocytopenia, and severe aplastic anemia, conditions that were previously difficult to treat. Promacta has also been effective in reducing the risk of bleeding in patients with thrombocytopenia, which can be life-threatening in severe cases. The drug has been shown to increase platelet counts in as little as two weeks, and many patients have reported significant improvements in their symptoms. Another benefit of Promacta is that it is easy to administer and can be taken orally. This is an advantage over other treatments, such as intravenous immunoglobulin therapy, which requires hospitalization and can cause side effects. Promacta Dosage and Administration Promacta is available in tablet form and is taken orally once a day. The dosage of Promacta depends on the patient's age, weight, and medical condition. The drug should be taken at least two hours before or four hours after eating, as food can affect the absorption of the drug. Patients taking Promacta should have their platelet counts monitored regularly to ensure that the drug is working effectively. The dosage of Promacta may need to be adjusted based on the patient's platelet count and medical condition. Promacta Side Effects and Precautions Like all medications, Promacta can cause side effects, although not all patients experience them. The most common side effects of Promacta include headache, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Other side effects can include dizziness, fatigue, and muscle aches. Promacta can also cause serious side effects, including liver problems, blood clots, and cataracts. Patients taking Promacta should be monitored for signs of these side effects, and the drug should be discontinued if necessary. Patients taking Promacta should also be aware of certain precautions, such as the risk of bleeding. Patients should avoid activities that can cause injury, such as contact sports, and should report any signs of bleeding to their healthcare provider. Clinical Trials and Studies on Promacta Several clinical trials and studies have been conducted on Promacta, which have shown the drug to be effective in increasing platelet counts and reducing the risk of bleeding in patients with thrombocytopenia. 
One study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that Promacta was effective in increasing platelet counts in patients with chronic liver disease and thrombocytopenia. The study also found that Promacta reduced the risk of bleeding in these patients. Another study published in Blood Advances found that Promacta was effective in increasing platelet counts in patients with immune thrombocytopenia. The study also found that Promacta reduced the need for other treatments, such as intravenous immunoglobulin therapy. Promacta versus other thrombocytopenia treatments. Promacta is not the only treatment available for thrombocytopenia, and there are other therapies that can be used to manage the condition. One of the most common treatments for thrombocytopenia is corticosteroids, which work by suppressing the immune system and reducing inflammation. However, corticosteroids can cause side effects, such as weight gain, mood changes, and an increased risk of infection. Another treatment for thrombocytopenia is intravenous immunoglobulin therapy, which involves receiving a transfusion of immunoglobulin proteins. This treatment can be effective in increasing platelet counts, but it requires hospitalization and can cause side effects, such as headaches, fever, and chills. Compared to these treatments, Promacta offers several advantages, including the ability to increase platelet counts without suppressing the immune system or requiring hospitalization. Alternative medications to consider. N-plate. N-plate, or Ramaplastum, is an alternative medication to Promacta that also acts as a thrombopoietin receptor agonist. It works in a similar way to stimulate platelet production. N-plate is administered through subcutaneous injections and is approved for the treatment of chronic ITP in adults and children. Revelade. Revelade, or Avitrombopag, is another thrombopoietin receptor agonist that can be considered as an alternative to Promacta. It is available in tablet form and works by stimulating the production of platelets in the bone marrow. Revelade is approved for the treatment of thrombocytopenia in adults with chronic liver disease and chronic ITP. Doptilet. Doptilet, or Avitrombopag maleate, is a medication that works by interacting with the thrombopoietin receptor and promoting platelet production. It is available in tablet form and is approved for the treatment of thrombocytopenia in adults with chronic liver disease who are scheduled to undergo a medical or dental procedure. Fostamatinib. Fostamatinib is a medication that works differently from Promacta and other thrombopoietin receptor agonists. It is an oral spleen tyrosine kinase SYK, inhibitor that helps increase platelet production. Fostamatinib is approved for the treatment of chronic ITP in adults who have not responded well to other treatments. Patient experiences with Promacta. Many patients with thrombocytopenia have reported significant improvements in their symptoms after taking Promacta. Patients have reported an increase in their platelet counts, which has reduced the risk of bleeding and bruising. Patients have also reported fewer side effects than other treatments, such as corticosteroids and intravenous immunoglobulin therapy. One patient with immune thrombocytopenia reported that Promacta had helped to increase their platelet counts and reduce their symptoms. The patient had previously tried several other treatments without success and was relieved to find a treatment that worked for them. Conclusion. The future of Promacta in treating thrombocytopenia. Promacta has been a game changer in the treatment of thrombocytopenia, offering a safe and effective way to increase platelet counts and reduce the risk of bleeding. The drug has been shown to be effective in treating chronic liver disease, immune thrombocytopenia, and severe aplastic anemia, conditions that were previously difficult to treat. While Promacta is not without its side effects and precautions, the benefits of the drug outweigh the risks for many patients. With continued research and clinical trials, Promacta has the potential to become the standard of care in treating thrombocytopenia, offering patients a more effective and less invasive way to manage their condition. Thanks for watching.